Hello there, many thanks for tuning in to Y254 Lifestyle Wednesday. Tonight we'll be looking at the modeling industry. I'll be speaking to Ryan, aka Nash. He's the uh, president of the Zuri Africa Global Trust. You want to see how much is into this industry and is it lucrative by the way and so much so we want to see the event that will be upcoming what they are looking forward to keep it y254 send in your comments or questions to all our social media platforms at y254 channel my name is Dereva hillary welcome to the program and we begin right away karibu sana welcome to kenya and welcome to y254 studios karibu welcome now, uh, I would love to understand or to know more about the Global Trust just before we get into the event that will be upcoming. Uh, tell us more about the Global Trust. Um, the, the, the Global Trust was founded in South Africa, that's 2014, uh, mm -hmm. with an idea of differentiating what African culture means mm -hmm. and how best we can penetrate the global market mm -hmm. as Africans. Right. So we founded in South Africa 2014, 2014. at uh, Heritage House. Mm -hmm. yeah. And how has the business been? How has the reception been for those years? No, the, the impact is strong. Uh, the brand is bigger than the individuals. Mm -hmm. And if you always say that uh, we, we run as a collective. So Africa, with a collective mindset, mm -hmm. with one mindset, then, I mean, nothing can beat it. And uh, so far, how many countries have joined you? We have over 22 countries. Right. 22, I think. Uh, it's actually over 26 countries now. Mm -hmm. uh, so for the first year, we said, let's focus on 22 plus. Then next year we penetrate even up to 34 plus. Oh. So the response is overwhelming. Uh, that's quite awesome. Now, uh, maybe you could tell us what was the motivation and the inspiration to begin as such? I think um, we, we discovered that there was a gap in terms of how um, us as Africans are recognized outside. Mm -hmm. Remember, Africa is a brand. Right. But how then do we sell Africa as a brand? And we felt as Africans, we, our brand is not really stepping out mm -hmm. in terms of uh, the content that goes out through media platform, through individuals that then travel and then they discover a new land and then they adopt new cultures, which has got nothing to do with being an African. Mm -hmm. So the motivation was that, okay, let's come, up, let's come up together as collective so that we're able to influence the global space. How we then influence the global space is what Zuri Africa Queen defines. Mm -hmm. Zuri Africa Queen is a project that runs under Zuri Africa Global Trust. Right. Yeah. Uh, I want to believe you work with uh, young people like I, I have seen. And uh, oh, what is into place or how do you encourage or the strategies you have in mentoring young people and uh, nurturing their talents? Uh, the strategy as a global trust, number one, we identify our partners mm -hmm. from all different walks of life. Uh, first is Africa. We also got global partners from the United States, Canada, mm -hmm. um, uh, UK, etc., etc. But our number one protocol, we discover who is our partner in the African market. We can take our brand to launch it in their country, to run it in their country as a platform that then defines who is supposed to take part. So we run auditions the, at the national level where we work with national directors who are the franchise holder of our brand. So they run auditions, they, that's their selection uh, platform through auditioning, through scouting, through, um, we also open what you call it participation platforms where we say if you think you got the gift, if you think you're a cultural leader, because what we promote after all, it's cultural leadership. Mm -hmm. So if you think you, you got the skills of a leader and you think this is a platform that can, you can really stand out and become a sound voice, then it's to, you, you come up. Uh, then that begs the question, uh, what does it take to become a model? What does it take to become a model? Mm -hmm. Okay, the modeling part is well defined with the national directors because uh, when I sit here, I'm looking at a program Mm -hmm. I'm not really keen about the models themselves. The platform that is really keen about the models is then the national directors who run the modeling agencies. Mm -hmm. Because through the modeling agencies, because you're, you are taking the cultural leadership skill together with, um, to fuse it with beauty and brains. Where do you get the beauty? Mm -hmm. The beauty then you get it through working with the national directors who run modeling agencies. Mm -hmm. But uh, for the women that um, in the modeling sector, then uh, when we work with them, we are just molding them to become leaders. Mm -hmm. We are molding them to become influencers. We are molding them to believe and stand up for what they believe is right. Mm -hmm. What is right? Being an African is right. Mm -hmm. 
There's nothing wrong with being an African. There's okay. everything right being an African. Mm -hmm. But there's everything wrong when an African decides to be something else, mm -hmm. uh, which then doesn't have a definition. I'll give an example. Mm -hmm. When you look at uh, the way South Africa Queen is, is uh, designed, mm -hmm. is designed in such a way that the woman that wins or the woman that participates are promoted to be in their organic form. When you say organic form, we're talking about the organic, true identity of an African woman. What is it? It's from head to top. Mm -hmm. The language you speak without anybody asking you, are you an African, you're not. Mm -hmm. uh, if you look at, an, for an example, you take a queen who is promoting a certain initiative, mm -hmm. you take them outside the country, but from head to toe, nothing defines, only the sash that is defining what, 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 what means, what, what, what Africa. Okay. It's not enough. Mm -hmm. Let everything speak from head to toe that I am African and I'm proud. Mm -hmm. But then if you are compromised, what do I mean by being compromised? You're an African, but you got Brazilian hair. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You got uh, long nails from Spain. Mm -hmm. You got uh, Italian dress and everything. And you stand, people tend to doubt. Mm -hmm. But when a true queen comes mm -hmm. in its organic form, it then also lures stories to say, okay, wow, you know, I really need to go to Sabu, to Africa and check out what's happening down there. Mm -hmm. All oh, right, you made, you made a st statement that I I kind of feel, okay, I don't want to go there because it may bring uh, some issues with our ladies because they love uh, to look good in these years. Yes, and yes. But then uh, you just mentioned about partnership and you've spoken about uh, European countries. But for a long time, Africa has been accused of relying more of the West. Now, when you partner with them, what do you look for from them? From the partners, yes, we have a guide. You got a franchise guide that defines how that program is supposed to operate. Mm -hmm. So we are looking at capabilities. Who is capable of delivering what needs to be delivered with this brand called mm -hmm. Zuri Africa Queen? So that's what we are looking at. Mm -hmm. To say, okay, fine. Uh, if you're going to take up this franchise, mm -hmm. you need to be in in form. Mm -hmm. yeah. oh, okay. Uh, for the past five years or so. What has been the greatest achievement that you have made as a Zuri? Okay, we have been uh, very influential because number one, when we invested six years in building a brand mm -hmm. and how we invested it uh, from South Africa, mm -hmm. we have been running and partnering with other programs just to help them cushion, cushion whatever they are, they are doing. Uh, we have operated also in Zambia. Mm -hmm. We have operated in Malawi, we've been in Zimbabwe, mm -hmm. just to build the brand in mm -hmm. terms of uh, uh, launching of agencies. We launched agencies in different countries mm -hmm. to then use that as a hub to discover the organic culture and mentor women into ethno-cultural mm -hmm. leaders. Mm -hmm. So in terms of achievement, yes, we have achieved in a lot of countries. And uh, today we are in Kenya. Right. Because of that, uh, the brand has become too strong. Mm -hmm. And today we are in Kenya, and Kenya is hosting. And I believe, I mean, this is the first ever to happen in Kenya, mm -hmm. to have international models over, I think we've got over 40 something mm -hmm. participants who are coming into the countries. Mm -hmm. Because Zuri recognized the, the queen's role, it recognized the prince's role. Mm -hmm. So we've got the queens and the princesses mm -hmm. that are coming into the country for the very first time mm -hmm. as an international program. Mm -hmm. So to us, that's a major success. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm interested to know how the reception is here in Kenya and how people have contributed. But as you respond to that as well, we have seen uh, such initiatives come maybe to drive funds or to have an agenda or having something that will be pronounced out here. But then as you work in Kenya and the event that, the event that is upcoming, are you looking into maybe raising funds to a certain project or you just want to showcase Africa? For now, we are not looking at raising funds. Uh, well, we thank God for our host partner, uh, which is Africa Models. Mm -hmm. They've partnered with us uh, to say, okay, let's, let's give Kenya a chance. Mm -hmm. So such programs, when they come in a country, the country has got a lot, lot more to, to benefit. Mm -hmm. Number one, the Ministry of Tourism. They benefit because these are tourists coming into the country. Okay. Number two, you find, uh, if you've got the Reserve Bank, they're benefiting also in Forex. Mm -hmm. Because these tourists are coming to leave their monies here. They have Forex in the country. And at the same time, we are a program that says we do not work against the government. We work with the government. Mm -hmm. We have a wing that is in government. This is what we are running with. Mm -hmm. So we partner. Our biggest stakeholder should be the government and is the government, mm -hmm. the Minister of Tourism, the Minister of Education. Because why are we in the country also to educate people about the Kenyan culture? Mm -hmm. So 
when uh, the when the countries come, they want to see what Kenya is all about. I've been in, in the country for four days now, mm -hmm. and what I see is amazing. I've got an amazing story to go out there and tell. Thank because you. Because I'm an African ambassador. Mm -hmm. So Kenya has got a lot to benefit. Mm -hmm. Because when I come here, when I step in, I'm an ambassador for Africa. Then when I go, I'm, I'm then influencing people to say, you know what, Kenya is an amazing country. Kenya is like this. Because I focus on the positives of a country. And from the time that I landed here, I'm just seeing amazing stories. Mm -hmm. So that is what Zuri wants to dub. Then as a collective, we are saying now, as different as we are, we are not different. What do I mean? Mm -hmm. We are different because of borders. Who put the borders in place? It's not us, the Africans. It's a foreign element. We are saying, okay, we can still break those borders, mm -hmm. but not the physical, but the way we trade. Like right now, we are, we are together, we are talking. True. We have broken the borders. Mm -hmm. Or saying now we can communicate as if Africans, we can come out solutions and say how best then can we do that? Mm -hmm. How we do that when you combine these countries that are coming to showcase organic culture, the true roots of who we are, mm -hmm. will succeed because it's a collective of voices. Africans are saying, you know what? We love who we are. We package ourselves. We take that to the global community. And the next thing the global community will be knocking at Zuri Africa doors. To say, you know what, we want to invest in Africa, how do you go about it? Mm -hmm. And because we've got a relation with the government and the ministries, we have a discussion. To say, ah, you know what, the people want to invest in Kenya. How, do, how can you assist them? Because we are the voice. Right. So there is so much that Kenya is going to benefit from this program. Yeah, one of the things I have noticed, and uh, in a moment you'll be seeing uh, some of the models, you, you're working with the designers these kind of people who make these dresses and the attires that you have they are african yes yeah. what really is to is into this why why because we have seen other models they have this kind of designs the mm. kind of clothes they wear the kind of uh attires they showcase this one is purely african it's purely african and uh, um, the creative the creative sector mm -hmm. we we strongly work with them. Mm -hmm. uh, you mentioned the designers. It's good that you noticed yeah. that designers are our friends. Mm -hmm. They are our partners. It's a collective of different elements. Because when you want to put in the components of culture, you've got different players. Mm -hmm. The designers, mm -hmm. the, the African, uh, mm -hmm. uh, the African uh, what you call it, artists that are going to perform there. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the musicians, the play vital are also in the program. The musicians, mm -hmm. the designers. So we have a collection of designers that we said, you know, come through, not just from Kenya, mm -hmm. because remember we've got queens that have been prepared for the past mm -hmm. one year in their countries, mm -hmm. and they've been working very closely with, um, with their designers as well. They, all of them, they are into so much passionate about mm -hmm. who we are as Africans, and uh, the correction is between us as Africans. They say, okay, fine, how, how do we package ourselves for a global market? Uh, for these designers, for every country that you're working with, now, right now you said about 22. Now for every country, like for an example, Kenya, you, have, you are yeah. in Kenya. Mm -hmm. You're working with Kenyan designers or you have come with your own? The Kenyan queens, the Kenyan uh, princes, they're working with their own. Awesome. That's what we promote. We, there's no need to say, okay, we need to take another designer from somewhere to dress a Kenyan, a Kenyan queen. It's not going to tell a true story. Mm -hmm. If you're coming from Tanzania, your Tanzanian designer is going to dress you. Right. Because they understand um the dynamics of uh, the dress codes and everything so for kenya has been dressed with with kenyan designers mm -hmm. the nigerians are being dressed with the nigerian designers that's uh, how we work and these designers they they have to work with what you have in mind or it's what they, they will have all right so we we have categories mm -hmm. we just give categories number one we are saying mm -hmm. uh on uh zuri africa global platform you are coming to tell a story. Mm -hmm. How to tell a story? We got six categories, mm -hmm. right? Number one is the traditional. All right. We are saying, okay, fine. Tell us a story where the uh, the dress started from. And remember, culture is not defined by dress. Mm -hmm. Dress is just a symbol of where you come from. Culture mm -hmm. has a lot of components. Mm -hmm. Those are what we are addressing. That's what we are showcasing. We're not just showcasing dress. Mm -hmm. You're not just going to see women coming in, walking in, and go. Mm -hmm. That's how different we are. Mm -hmm. They're coming in. And they're going to tell us why they're wearing the traditional dress. Right. They're coming to tell us why they're wearing the modern dress, which is now. Mm -hmm. They're coming to tell a story why they're wearing the heritage dress, right. which is the national symbol dress, mm -hmm. or some they call it a national costume. Mm -hmm. They're also coming to tell us a story 
uh, why they're wearing the creative dress. Right. Because we, by working with the designers also, we are challenging them to be creative. Mm -hmm. Then at the same time, the final thing is, we are also challenging them to think 20 years ahead. Right. For Kenya, we can say, okay, as a designer, mm -hmm. can you show us the futuristic dress? Mm -hmm. 20 right. years from now, how are you going to dress? Mm -hmm. But it's defined also in the way they're going to work with their designers. Mm. All right. Uh, at this juncture, I would want to, I would want us to see the models that we have in studio and see how they are dressed, and get to understand about the the traditions, like you have mentioned. Yeah. Uh, why such an attire, and what message does it send out there? So our, our modelists are coming right now. Yes, please come in. Exactly. So if you could actually explain to us, uh, maybe I'll begin from that end, sir. We have a gentleman there. Uh, what kind of message is being sent with this kind of an attire? Okay, um, at this gesture, I think I'm going to leave the platform because I'm also learning and enjoying to learn the, oh, the Kenyan yeah. culture. Right. So I'll be biased if I tell you, okay, this is from, there's one I learned from. Then you can hear from them then. Yeah, we can, we can actually hear from them. All right. Yeah. Tell us about your hat, yeah. Um, my name is Kevin Wanchao. And um, what I'm wearing, uh, it comes from uh, our culture. I'm uh, half Kikuyu and half gamba and uh, from our own mothers they usually use um, uh, this uh, they're called um, this color brush yes uh, in so many things some of them store milk uh, uh, some of them uh, do different things with it uh, they put porridge for the kids and everything yeah all right yeah uh, how about the next Okay, um, I'm Brian Mwendo Sankau. Um, what I'm wearing comes from my culture. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm half a Kamba and half a Maasai. Mm -hmm. the, the, red, the red part comes from the Maasai, the Maasai part, and the green part, the Kamba. Wow. Yeah. I expected a yellow anyway. <laughs> That's okay. Oh, there's no yellow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. My name is Quinville Wanyama. Um, I'm wearing Ankara, or we call it Kitenge. Uh, this is mainly from Nigeria, but we've also adopted as other African countries. Right. Yes. Okay, finally. My name is Immaculate Paulette. I'm wearing, uh, I've used a Kikoi fabric. It was used at the coast, coastal part of Kenya. Mm -hmm. So I've used the Kikoi, the Kikoi to bring out the the African the all right so uh, as you can see Kenya is beautiful no it's it's amazing <laughs> and you see their men as well we've uh, been talking about ladies here yes and uh, you could ask me why the men are there tell me about it it's just a symbol to say when the queen is going to be crowned there's going to be a king who's waiting to usher the queen oh. to the throne how so wonderful. that's a concept that we're using and you find there's a prince mm -hmm. waiting to usher the princess mm -hmm to her throne, okay. because the prince plays the people to a role. All right, I'll, I'll request our mothers not to tire. Uh, we uh, will be finishing in a bit. But for now, tell me about the upcoming event. Well, the, the coming, uh, upcoming event is amazing. Mm -hmm. I've been three days in the country just to see if everything is in order. Mm -hmm. Everything is ready. Oh. Uh, we want to see the venue. The venue is uh, West, uh, Western Hotel. Western Hotel. Yeah. yeah, here in Nairobi. Who is invited? Um, everybody's invited, mm -hmm. and uh, just a couple of days we've been inviting all the, ambas the ambassadors. Okay. Because all the embassies, they're also our stake stakeholders, they need to receive their queens. How about the public? The public is, is number one pronto, oh, so yeah. they're all invited. Are you coming we, with tickets or? Because well, if, if, is it free? No, it's, it's not free. Yeah, because it's not free. Because, because the reason why it's not free is to control. The, the crowd. If you say it's free, exactly. then it's going to be a disaster. So it's not free. Mm -hmm. There is the VVIP, there is VIP entry, there is the general entry, and uh, tickets are already being sold. Right. Yeah. So how many people will be participating? Uh, you mean in terms of the countries? Right. Okay, roughly, um, we'll, we'll sum up, because I'll tell you even by today we're still having entry All right. for other countries that we thought they were not going to be on board, like Egypt, mm -hmm. for example. We never thought we were going to have Egypt on board. Right. So because of the 
what you call it, the noise that Zuri is causing out there and the concept itself. Mm -hmm. So we are still having a lot of countries that are coming in, but so far, in terms of entry, we have more than 26 countries. Mm -hmm. 24, 26 countries. But remember, they are queens, mm -hmm. they are first princess, mm -hmm. second princess. All right. So you'd be expecting more than 40, 40, 44 participants going up. All right. Now, I, I want to pose a question to you, Paulette. You, I understand you'll be participating. Uh, what do you have in mind? What you will be looking forward to? Oh, I'll be participating as the princess. Mm -hmm. Whatever I'm looking forward to is to win. Mm -hmm. Yes. And where, where do you expect your king to come from? <laughs> or whoever uh, comes, it's I okay. I will choose the mm -hmm. all African and uh, I'll appreciate a prince from any part of the Africa. Uh, what kind of attire will you have, be having then? The one uh, you have I'll now or something else? I'll Kenya. So I'll just pick on one tribe from Kenya. Right. Maybe Luo and Showcase. Oh, all right. Yes. Oh, all right. Now, tell us about the ticketing and uh, where we will find them as we wind up. All right. Uh, before you get to the, there are no prince or prince. There are no prince or con contesting. Okay. There's only one prince mm -hmm. who's just on the stage to usher, waiting for the, the princess. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'll be enjoying the. I'll be enjoying the event. Okay. I'll be enjoying the event. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of. Um, the tickets. Where the tickets. Mm -hmm. We the adverts that are circulating mm -hmm. with uh, numbers that they need to call. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I, I I don't know the number by hand, mm -hmm. but oh. uh, there is a number uh, which on social media maybe you can follow. On yeah, on social media, uh, Facebook you can follow Zuri Africa Queen. Mm -hmm. You can follow Zuri Africa um, Kenya. Right. So Zuri Africa Queen follow Zuri Africa Kenya. Follow any Zuri Africa platform. Mm -hmm. Zuri Africa, Kenya, Nigeria, because the circulation is just going everywhere. All right. So all our contacts and all our details are there. Yeah, okay. then Instagram is Sam, Zuri Africa Queen. Awesome, awesome. Maybe your and website, mm -hmm. uh, website uh, that's www.zuriafricaqueen.org. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the website is the best platform if mm -hmm. you get mixed up with, messed up with uh, the high energy which is on social media right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, I, I want to get the final words from our models to Kim Malaysia from your end. Because you're into this, how, how, what can you tell the young people out there and generally the public? What do you have a message for them? And if you could hold your mic, close your mouth, please. About Zuri? The modeling industry. The modeling industry. Right. Okay, many models pass, pass through a lot of struggles. Mm -hmm. I'll advise them to keep pushing right. and never give up. Keep hope alive. Thank you. All right. Next person. Uh, I advise the young models to follow their dreams mm -hmm. and be sure to their hearts. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Okay. I will advise people, the young, young people, if they go the passion mm -hmm. in modeling, just show it out. You may, you may never know what your de where your destiny lies. Yeah. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, for me, what I'd like to say is that um, many models go through so much challenge, mm -hmm. especially in this industry. But if you get the right, uh, if you get the right uh, channel, mm -hmm. if you get the right, um, like for me, Africa model, mm -hmm. uh, as an Africa model, uh, it has helped me through a lot mm -hmm. since um, I started modeling way back. Mm -hmm. But uh, for now, you'll see that uh, so many doors are opening. Uh, being here is a privilege for me and I thank Africa Models mm -hmm. and uh, I'd like to tell all the models out there follow your dreams be passionate in what you do and you'll make it all right thank you. I, before I let you go how do I identify the places to go because we have people with talent out there but they, 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 they have no information where do I go where do I start how did you get your breakthrough uh, first of all uh, you always find that uh, outside there mm -hmm. there are scouts scouting for models mm -hmm. but uh, if you happen to join the, the wrong agency and I won't mention names but if you happen to join the wrong agency you'll end up uh, getting disappointed but uh, if uh, first of all before joining any agency do your research yes do your research thank you so much uh, finally with you tell us about is it profitable to be in this industry, how are the models 
benefiting being here and doing this and your final ones? I'll tell you one thing, what uh, models need, it's a platform, mm -hmm. number one. Uh, you get the right platform, you get exposure. Mm -hmm. we, we have a brand that is giving these models, uh, the people in the industry, exposure. Like for instance, they got about three amazing tours for next year, all the queens that are participating and the prince, mm -hmm. and the princesses, I mean, are participating. Mm -hmm. We got Germany, mm -hmm. we got um, Asia, in fact, you got USA as well. We are liaising with the USA, but uh, for the other three countries, mm -hmm. we already got schedules. So we got a global tour. But Zuri Africa doesn't end on the event. Mm -hmm. It actually starts okay. when the event starts. Mm -hmm. So what models need is to identify the right platform, mm -hmm. because talent, which is not exposed, is nothing. Okay. When it, talent is it's exposed, that's how you tap into opportunity. Somebody's going to identify you. True. So what we create is a platform for these young guys mm -hmm. to be then identified mm -hmm. and when you get the right opportunities they tap into those opportunities because they're rightly positioned so they need to position themselves mm -hmm. that's all i can say all right many thanks uh, for coming and indeed many thanks uh, for the models 14th of december which will be actually a few days from now at western hotel they will be showcasing africa and indeed kenya will be fully represented they have been my guest here and my guest uh, speaker was uh, ryan Munengami. he's uh, from zimbabwe right so all the way from zimbabwe to kenya many thanks for keeping us company this has been y254 lifestyle wednesday with me Hillary, have yourself a very good night.